Hello and welcome to Kid Safe Gaming. Finally, a YouTube channel where you can let your kids watch it and you can know that there will be no profanity, no swearing, nothing like that. It is 100% kid safe all the time. I'm going to be playing video games that I love from my childhood as well as new video games that I've never played before. Basically just to uh, show some gameplay and just to have fun. So there's no better game to start with in my mind than Mega Man the original from Nintendo 1987. <clears throat> Here we go. Now, I always start with Bomb Man just because he's the easiest uh, boss to beat when you're just using the Mega Buster or his uh, little arm cannon. Now, it's been a while since I've played this all the way through, so please bear with me. I will do the best that I can. But I think my muscle memory will let me uh, remember things that my mind doesn't, so we'll see how that goes. I've always loved the uh, background of this stage, very futuristic, especially since it's 30 years old, and uh, it's just so cool. I love the art of all the Mega Man games. Oops. I got this game back when I was seven years old. I, uh, let's see, was it my eighth seven-year-old or eight-year-old Christmas? One of the two. Um, and it was basically the best day of my life up to that point. I loved the Nintendo, and uh, Mega Man was just my favorite game of all time uh, back then, and it might be now. They're just, uh, all the Mega Man games are so good, but this number one uh, holds a special place in my heart. Mega Man 1 didn't have any save, um, any way to save or reload your game, so you kind of had to play it straight through. Today, every, every game has a save state, um, so you can... You know, save at a safe spot no matter where you are and always reload it and keep trying until you win. You definitely couldn't do that back uh, back in the 80s. So I kind of like that about this. Mega Man 2, I think, had passwords where you could um, kind of save your progress. It did become helpful, uh, I won't lie about that, but um, there's something about just playing it straight through that really makes you feel like you've uh, accomplished something great when you finally beat the game. Now I'm not sure, oh don't hit me, I'm not sure how uh, much of this game I'm going to play this first time through, um, trying to get a feel for um, what I should, <clears throat> excuse me, what I should be doing with the videos, the length of them, how long, uh, you know, people want to watch. So we'll find out uh, how long I go, maybe I'll do a couple and then uh, do a second video. Now one of the cool things about Nintendo is uh, it was kind of glitchy, or you could, you know, make it, uh, make a mistake, um, you know, on purpose. Right here where I just got that one up, there's sometimes where you can jump off screen and come back and that that one up will reappear. Let me see if I can do it. Sometimes when you fall down, that's the time it reappears. Not that time, I guess. Oh well. So we're at the end already. These stages are pretty short. And Bomb Man to me is one of the easiest bosses to beat. As long as you keep running at him and you stay close to him, he'll keep jumping. And if you avoid the bomb blasts, you can beat him without getting touched. Hopefully I can do that here. I'm just gonna drop all the way down and hope for the best. Sometimes you get hit, sometimes you don't. That was perfect. Okay, he's gonna appear to the right. I'm gonna just keep going at him and see if I can beat him without getting touched. And that didn't work, but I've kind of got him pinned. Oh, man. Well, it's not as good as I thought, but I'll still get him. Whew. Wow, that was close. I beat him, and then I got hit. Luckily, I didn't die. Okay. I assume that this little disc thing here is his power that he's given me. Now that I've beaten him, I can use uh, bombs to throw at other people, so I'll be using that on the next stage which will be Gutsman. I don't know what Gutsman really means, but... Here he is. I was never great at this level back in the day. My brother Brett used to do it for me. Um, but I've gotten pretty, uh, pretty good at it over the years. There's a couple parts that are a little bit uh, nerve-wracking or scary, but... Like this part here. Basically, at the beginning of the stage, you've got this conveyor belt type thing. You gotta wait for the platform to appear, and then you jump on it, and uh, you gotta jump up and down on other ones. 
The other thing that makes me nervous is the noise that it makes. If you hit select... <laughs> trying to do too many things at once. If you hit select, it'll pause the game, and when you unpause it, that noise will go away for a few seconds. I always do that just because, to me, it just makes it less, <laughs> less nerve-wracking, so... Oop, I missed it. I gotta wait for it to come back. But you have to take your time here. If you rush it, you will always fall. Here, I'm gonna pause it, unpause it, now the noise is gone. But it will come back before you leave. I gotta be real careful here. It's all timing. Oh, that jump's always tough. Okay, now on to these guys. Yeah, I usually get hit there. That was great. Now up here, there are these minor guys who throw pickaxes at you who are... You have to shoot a bunch of times. If I had the firepower from Fireman, if I had beaten him first, these guys take one shot to beat with that. Since I don't have that weapon, I have to just take some hits from the axes. They are really accurate when they throw those things at you. That was good. Alright, there's a one-up down here that's so hard to get, but I'm gonna try. Ah, nuts. Alright, oh, and then this guy. He reminds me of an old telephone from the 80s. Who just jumps. Ugh, and when he hits you, he takes half of your power. You never know if he's gonna do a full jump, or a half jump. So you have to just take your chances and just go for it. Now, he knocked my power down halfway. And there's no way I can beat Gutsman with half power. So, what I think I'm going to do here is go in there and just face him without equipping my bombs. I could equip my bombs here, but I'm not going to waste them. Since I have two lives. I'm going to just shoot at him and see what happens. And then I'll probably die, but when I come back I'll be able to beat him with the bombs. You just only have a few bombs to throw and I don't want to waste them. Now when he lands, he shakes the entire ground. And if you're standing on the ground, when he lands, you shake and you can't move. Very dangerous. Okay, so. I have full strength and full bombs. So let's try this. It only takes three bomb hits to beat him, so we'll see if I can actually hit him with the first throw. Sometimes it's not on target. Because he moves around. Here we go. Oh no, he's right up on me. Ooh, one more. Oh, please hit him. Oh boy. I think I'm in trouble. That'll get him. Whew. Got lucky there. And there's the power of Gutsman. Which is the ability to lift heavy objects, like those boulders there. Alright, so what I think I'll do is one more stage here. And just to give you the feel of Mega Man 1. And if you guys want to see more of this game or me even uh, beating the game, let me know in the comments and then I will, uh, I'll make a part 2 or a part 3, or however long it takes. So now that I have Gutsman's power, the next person I should beat would be Cutman because he is vulnerable to having large objects thrown at him. I do not like this level. I never have. Um, but I have to do it, so here we go. This is another level I used to have my brother do for me. But I was always able to do Fireman and Bomb Man for him, so it evened out. Now this is one of the levels where if there are a lot of enemies on the screen at one time, not just enemies, any kind of objects, if there's too much going on, the whole game starts to slow down. And you get used to that after a while, but it really changes how you play the game. You gotta be aware that it's gonna happen. There's a spot up here coming up where the whole screen slows down to a crawl. And you gotta be real careful. So let's see what uh, what happens to me when I get to that screen. I think it's on Cutman stage. I believe it is. Yeah, these guys. They make the whole game slow down. There's only There was only three of them there, so it's not too bad. But when there's more than three or four, it slows down to a crawl. You'll see on this screen here. See that? And it'll speed up out of nowhere. And you gotta be real careful, because you can really get caught. 
It happens a lot in Mega Man 2. On, uh, there's a dragon you have to beat in Mega Man 2. And the whole screen slows down, and if you don't know it's coming, you'll fall right down uh, into nothing. Maybe I'll do a video on that someday. Slow. Wow, that was bad. I just gotta jump past this guy and I should be good. Alright, we're getting there. Alright, so now we just go down a ways. Oops. And we'll be uh, close to the end. Just gonna get this uh, energy power up. These guys come down right at you at a 45 degree angle. And it's really hard to get out of their way. There's another one of these big telephone type things that you just gotta try to run underneath and that never works for me. And I'll try to shoot him until he goes away and then I'll probably get a pellet, which just gives you points, which gives you nothing. Or he'll give me nothing at all. Okay, here's another problem. I don't have a lot of power and Cutman is difficult to beat. Now, I mentioned before that you can use Gutsman, Gutsman's power to throw things at him. The only problem is, inside of his little cavern here, there's only two boulders to throw at him. And if you miss with one of them, you're in trouble. So, I'm just gonna see what his jumping pattern looks like. Knowing that I'm probably gonna die. Maybe I'll get lucky and beat him without the uh, Gutsman. Wow. I didn't expect that, but I'll take it. Cut man, done. There's three bosses that I've taken care of. Okay, let's get to the next screen here. All right, I'm gonna leave it here and um, let me know in the comments if you wanna see more Mega Man. And if you do, I will uh, continue the game and uh, hopefully I can beat it for you guys. So please, this is my first video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what uh, what, what games you'd like to see, um, or uh, any uh, constructive criticism, any uh, ideas or thoughts. That would be great. I would really appreciate that. And parents, uh, if you could please let your parent friends know about this channel. Um, I promise to keep it 100% clean with no swearing or bad words, fresh language, anything like that. So um, I would really appreciate you spreading the word. All right, we will see you really soon. Thanks for everything. See you next time.